This is the KitchenAid, 26.8 cubic foot refrigerator with indoor ice. The front controls here, control temperature, the light, ice mode options. You also have a measured fill so that as you go to fill water here, you can either do a preset amount or if you notice, we get to see the number of ounces being distributed at a time. Inside the fridge, you'll find ample space for all of your refrigerated goods. You can see the indoor ice maker here with room for condiments in the two shelves that are below that door. If I open up the simple in the latch, you can see that we have a removable ice bin in case you need to empty that into a tray for your other freezer. There's also a switch if I remove this right on the side over here that turns the ice maker on and off. Ice is made actually up in the top portion of the fridge right here and it's dumped through the bin to located at the top of the door. As we can see, the Walter filter is located at the top of the fridge here, along with some very nice lighting. The slide out tray here for this model, which is model KRFF 577 KPS02, actually has like a wooden finish. Well, it's not actual wood, it is laminate on there on the uh, slide out tray. All these shelves besides the tray are adjustable, so we could change it up. And the top one here is actually one that can slide in and under so that you needed a little taller space. You could make that right here. Down here, we have our crispers. You can see that those are humidity controlled. They're auto humidity controlled, so I don't have to worry about dialing a little switch around for them. And then down here, we have our deli tray. We have our choice for fish meat, deli cheese, and actually wine option here. Simply moving by a slider here again. Open it up, it's very deep, ample space. And on the right hand side, we have some larger tray shelves. Um, the bottom one down here is the only one I question because it's sort of small and for an adult trying to get your hand done to get anything out of there is a challenge but the one right above it, a uh, very good size for, as you can see, a half gallon of milk, probably put a full gallon of milk there. We have a gallon of tea there, some more condiments here. And up top, we have how my kids put butter back in and just toss it in. Before looking at the freezer, the outside of the door is a very nice stainless steel. It's very solidly built. Um, it's very light for a fridge of this size. Um, our previous fridge, which had some issues um, on the previous fridge, where actually it rusted and the laminate came off down here on it. Uh, so this is why we replaced it. Um, and it rusting down the whole side here. Uh, it was a lot heavier, a different model brand. So for a freezer, we have two trays. Our top tray, we have a little tray that can slide side to side. We put obviously our, uh, all our breakfast stuff up here on top. Um, a lot of space in there. Again, there's no ice maker in the bottom portion of this. So you see a little difference in, um, in space here because of that. And then you have, again, the same trays down here at the bottom where you can slide. You have an indoor pizza storage area right down here. Um, and again, very well-organized space, planned out space by the manufacturer. Uh, the water line hooks up with a quarter inch um, water line. Uh, the one that came with this, it was uh, not the standard copper. It was more like a one that you would hook a dishwasher up with, but it still works just as fine. Um, so this is the KitchenAid 26.8 uh, cubic foot fridge with indoor ice maker. And it is highly recommended by me.